Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about five ways to store your soft plastic baits. Uh, we're gonna to go uh, top five. The order is gonna be from number one being the method I used to use all the way to five, what I use now. Uh, I'm gonna hint on some things I, I miss about using those methods and I'm gonna talk about some things that I, uh, I really don't like about those things. So um, stay around and figure out what works best for you. Uh, I'm gonna waste no time at all. Like I said, we're gonna make this quick video. So we're gonna get right into that. All right guys, so the first thing I started using when I bought my boat were these gallon Ziploc bags. Um, I really liked using these because you could fit a lot of soft plastics in these. Um, but the thing I really didn't like were, one, how much space these took up when they were full. I had uh, one labeled for each soft plastic uh, selection, uh, one for swim baits, one for worms, etc. And um, it just, it seemed really cluttered even though it wasn't. Um, so yeah, th these are a great option if you don't have a lot of money to spend on some of these other options I have. But uh, that's the reason I kind of got away from these just because, uh, like I said, it takes up a lot of space, um, but it is really organized. And if you have a bigger boat that has a lot of storage options, um, go ahead and try these. Uh, it it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. So um, yeah, definitely an option right here. All right guys, so on to the next thing. Uh, this one I actually still use uh, to this day. I still use this, but this is a storage tote. There are a lot of uses that people use these for other than fishing things, but I use these still to put all my swim baits in. So here I got like some rage swimmers, um, some jig and chatter bait trailers, uh, some swim baits that I haven't gotten out of the package yet. So these are a great, great thing to have if if you don't want to spend a lot of money as well, this is a really cheap option. I think you can get a, a 12 pack of these for $9 at Dollar General or Walmart. So this is a great option for the budget minded person. But like I said, even if, even if you're not uh, looking for something on a budget, these are really good, um, a really good organized way to keep things. Uh, on the flip side of that, these do take up a ton of space. So when I'm out on the boat, I used to carry uh, four or five of these and I'd be stuffing them everywhere I can and I'd still have them on the floor of my boat. And uh, some of you guys know, I have a 16 foot low. It's not very big, doesn't have a lot of space. So having that extra walk space is really nice. And when you have these laying all over the floor, it really sucks to have to just walk around them or kick them out of the way or start taking things out and stacking these inside of each other. But a uh, really great option for you guys that are looking for something that's cheap and really organized. Okay guys, so before I get into the third option for storing your soft plastics, I wanna remind you guys to go over to my Instagram page and like uh, all my pictures and go ahead and just follow me there. It makes things a lot easier to see and monitor what you guys wanna see from me and what you guys are thinking every day. I love getting on, replying to your guys' uh, comments and questions and getting over to your posts and liking them too. So um, go ahead and go over there at, at Middle State Fishing on Instagram and uh, just tell me what you think. Tell me how your day has been. You can DM me, whatever. So um, let's go on to the third option to storing your soft plastic baits. So here is option number three. So this is a box made by Flambo. It is designed to keep soft plastics. Um, this thing was a lifesaver. Um, so the cool thing about these is it actually has grooves here where you can put these in and it'll, it'll section off your soft baits. Um, if you're new into bass fishing and you don't have a lot and you wanna separate them by, um, you know, jig trailers or swim baits, um, worms, Whatever you want to do, you can label these right here. And uh, right here would be a great spot to label them. And you can separate each one of those baits into just one or two of these big boxes. And I think these are these are a great option for bank fishermen, um, people that don't have a boat, uh, or even somebody with a boat that doesn't like putting everything into their compartments, just wants this out on the deck. But um, I, I use these for a long time, and what, what got me away from them was um, these really aren't very durable, the latches aren't very good, and uh, like I said, a lot of times I'm out on the boat and this, the latches would would uh, be flipped open by me, you know, forget forget to 
shut it and then I'd have soft plastics flying around in the air uh, while I'm driving down the lake or um, I'd be putting things on top not thinking about it when I'm trying to switch baits and it was just it just wasn't the best option at the time so uh, these get a lot of use when I'm traveling if I want to put things in the truck uh, I'll, I'll just put a bunch of soft plastics in here in one or two boxes one, one or two of these and uh, take off down the road and not worry about um, where I put everything or if I have enough because when one of these things is full you can fit a lot of soft plastics in this thing so this is a great option if you are a bank fisherman or uh, like I said don't mind uh, having these on your deck in your boat or um, they're they're also a great option if you're going to be a um, co-fisherman in a uh, tournament or be a non-boater so um, yeah these are a perfect solution for that the fourth option here I have a backpack by Wild River um, this thing has got me through a lot of bank fishing I also used to carry this on the boat um, when I was first starting out and didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of things to put anywhere and so what's really great about this for you uh, new guys is you can literally put anything in here so up top there's a, a uh, sunglass compartment you can put your sunglasses in there if you have reading glasses uh, that's that's up there uh, it's also got a ton of room for soft plastics or whatever you want to put in there a spare change of clothes for the day um, but what's really cool about this is it has a, let's see, a flashlight so if you guys are going to be night fishing or um, anything like that it's getting dark if you need to get back to the back to the truck it's got that built in so that's why i keep this extra battery up here so the really cool thing about this backpack that same flashlight will light up the inside when it's tucked away i don't know if you guys can see that very well but yeah so um that is a great option for you guys who are bank fishing so this thing will be great if you're a co-boater or if you're going to be um going along with somebody for the day and you don't want to bring all your stuff and it's not your boat um this is a great option so uh, i think these retail for around a uh, hundred dollars i'm not sure maybe a little bit more but there are definitely options out there for backpacks under a hundred dollars so uh, great option so so far you've seen the top four uh, storage options for your soft plastics and uh, this fifth one is something i still use that could definitely change or i find something better but this is something that I really like that I, I had used when I was younger with my dad and um, he used it a lot and I, I had never really utilized it until now that I have my own boat and uh, am really conservative of my space. So that would be the bait binder. So this one's just an Academy bait binder. Um, there's tons of brands that make this. I know uh, KVD makes one that is slimmer and it'll fit in tighter spaces but uh, these are really great if you're just um, if you live close to an academy or if you have um, a lot of baits that you want to pack into a small space and right now you guys can see it doesn't look like there's a lot in here at all but uh, I actually had some things in here from the last fishing trip and uh, I'll show you that so as you guys can see there are a lot of soft plastics in here and one of the main things that i learned over the few last few months was you don't need to bring every soft plastic you own with you and that was something i struggled with um thinking that i needed one of every one of every bait one of every color but um that's not really the case so uh, a, a factor with that is making sure that you uh, you study where you're going to be and how the weather is and that'll definitely affect uh, what you're carrying or what you're trying to bring with you so um, let me know if you guys want me to make another video on uh, on how to prepare to go fishing somewhere uh, for the first time but um, these bait binders will carry a ton of stuff even these even have a, uh, a section up top for uh, technique specific uh, hooks or weights or whatever you want to put in there so definitely a great thing to utilize uh, and they have a little mesh strap on the back if you want to put uh, what you just used on what what you have tied on in there. And uh, yeah, these are a great option. So be sure to uh, check those out. Those are definitely a great option for you guys that have a boat. With that being my top five storage options for soft baits, uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about uh, what my top five were. I'd love to hear on either my Instagram or down below in the comments what you guys do for storage, if it's any different, or I'd love to hear if you guys do the same thing. Uh, that, that lets me know that I have the most efficient way of doing it. But um, let me know also if you guys want to hear how I store other things like crankbaits, terminal tackle, any of that stuff. So uh, head on over to my channel when you guys are finished watching this and be sure to subscribe, like this video, uh, give me some feedback. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back here before too long with another video. So get out there and catch some big fish. We'll see you later.